Have you ever wondered how to divide numbers using a number line? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using nothing more than a number line and a frog. Let's look at how it's done. Let's say we have two numbers, 8 divided by 2. And let's say we have to use a number line, and that's the only thing we're allowed to use to figure out the answer. What you do is you start at this number. You put your frog at that number. So you put him at 8. Let's put him right there. That's step one. The second step is you have to look at the second number and understand what that number means. That number means how big that frog's jumps are going to be. How large are the jumps going to be? The size of the jumps are going to be two numbers. He's going to skip two numbers at a time until he gets to the end. So we're going to take our pencil and we're going to say, okay, we're going to take the frog from eight, skip two numbers, you get to six. From six, skip two, you get to four. From four, you skip two numbers, you get to two. You skip another two and you get to zero. And you know you did it right if you landed on zero. If you landed on something other than zero and, and you find yourself um, having to change your pattern, you did it wrong. Now how do we get the answer? So after you've taken your frog and you've jumped him here, you've jumped him here, you've jumped him there, and you've jumped him there, how do you figure out what the answer is? It's simple. You count the jumps. You got one jump, two, three, four, and that's your answer. And you're finished. It's that simple. How do we check our answer to make sure it's correct, other than looking at the number of jumps? I'm going to show you how to do that. You take your pencil or your hand or something and you cover up the 8, the first number and the division sign. You cover it up just like that. And then you take the other two numbers and you multiply them. But wait a minute, Mr. Malham, that's it's division. It says division, not multiplying. It doesn't matter. You always check division with multiplication because multiplication and division are opposites. So you're allowed to check using the opposite symbol. So if we take these two numbers and we go 2 times 4, what's the answer? Assuming you know how to multiply, you know the answer is going to be 8. Now that number, that answer here, has to match the answer that's covered up. If it does, you did it correct. And it does. So we know we did it properly. Let's look at example num number 1. This is a real example. So let's try to remember what we do. 18 divided by 6. 18 means that's how much we have all together. We have to put him at the starting point. That's our starting point. We have 18 all together. Now we're going to bounce him 6 numbers. I'm going to show you where people make mistakes. This is a common mistake. When they count, when some people start doing this at the beginning, when they're learning how to do it, they count six numbers, but they start at the 18 and they say, okay, I'm going to count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they land at the 13. They go like that. That's one jump. Not realizing that they only skipped five numbers and not six. You never count the number that you start at, okay? Because if you count it, it's going to give you the wrong answer. So let's do it again. So you still start at 18, however, you don't count that. That's your starting point. You skip numbers. You want to skip six numbers, and you go like this. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you jump all the way to 12. That's one jump. And then you start at 12, but you don't say it, but you skip. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you go another six. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. And you see how it landed perfectly on zero? That means we did it properly. And now we can go like this. We can write our answer. It's one, two, three. We put three in the blank. Now how do we check our answer with multiplication? Remember, we cover up the first two. We cover up the 18 and the division sign and we multiply the last two numbers. We go six times three. And if you forgot how to multiply, go watch the videos on multiplication. 6 times 3 is 18, and we uncover it and it says 18, so we did it properly. Way to go. Now the third example, or second example, um, look at where this equal sign is. We have it on the left side. If you see that, no problem. We'll just flip it back around. We'll put it here where we're comfortable. You're allowed to do that. Anytime a question is given to you in this way, just move it around, scratch it out, and write it the way you like to see it. 12 divided by 3. Let's put our frog at the 12. We have 12 all together. And now we're going to make jumps of 3. So we're going to count here. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. We're going to go 1, 2, 3. 
and we're going to go one, two, three, and we landed at zero. So we did it properly. We count the jumps. We got one, two, three, four. So our answer is four. Now let's check our answer using multiplication. We're going to go three and four. We're going to times them. We're going to multiply them together. And three groups of four is going to be 12. So we know we did it properly. Let's uncover it and make sure. Aha, uh -huh, it is 12. So we did it right. Now it's your turn. Let's see how well you do. I'm going to give you some tough problems. They're not going to be easy. They're going to start simple, but they're going to get tough. Here we go. 12 divided by 4. Pause the video and then do it yourself. Now, assuming you did that, let's check our answer. 12 divided by 4. I hope you put your frog at 12. So let's circle 12. That's our starting point. We're going to make jumps of 4. Now I'm going to leave the equal sign there because I'm okay with it. If it's a problem for you, you can scribble it out and write it on the other side. So 12 divided by 4, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We count 1, 2, 3 jumps. We'll be right 3. Check your answer using multiplication. We're going to cover this 12 and we're going to times these two numbers, 3 and 4. So we get 3 times 4. That makes 12. We uncover it. We say, ah, it is 12. So we did it right. Now, this is a tough one. Okay, I'm not going to even read it to you yet. I'm going to let you read it. Pause the video, try it yourself, and then come back in a moment. Okay, so let's look at this here. See how you did. It says, write the division equation represented by the illustration. Illustration just means the picture. And you have to write the division equation. So let's write here. Let's write blank divided by blank equals some answer. And it says, write the division equation. So where did this froggy start? Where did he frog? He started, it looks like, right here. So 15 should have been your first number. That's where we start. Now, how big are his jumps? Now, you could have went like this. Some people might have done this by accident. They would have said, okay, he started at 15, and he gets to 10. So that must mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then they would have wrote 6 here. Now, if you did that, you didn't do it right because you forgot something. You never count the number that you start at. You skip it. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You should have written 5. So this jump is going to be 5. And this jump here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this jump is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer is going to be 1 jump, 2 jumps, 3 jumps. So you should have written 3 over here. If you did that, way to go. Now let's check our answer again. We're gonna now. I'm gonna imagine I'm covering up 15 divided by. I'm, I'm not gonna get the box out this time, but I'm gonna go five times three. And if I do that, I get 15, which matches this, and that means it's correct. Here's another one, just like the past one, just like the one we just finished off. Pause the video again and see if you could do it on your own. If you messed up the last one, see if you get this one correct. Okay, let's check it over. Write the division equation. Okay, let's let's do this. So where did the frog start? He started at 18. So we'll put him over here. And his jumps are going to be, let's see, if we start at 18 and we go to 16, that's skipping one, two numbers. So we're going to write 18 because we started there. We're going to go divided by. He's going two numbers at a time. So he's dividing by two. And the answer is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Let's check our answer. Cover this up. We're going to take 2 and 9. We're going to multiply them together, and we're going to get 18. And when we uncover this, it says 18. So we did it right. Last question. Ready? Pause the video. Try it. Okay, 20 divided by 4. You should have put your frog at 20, and he is on 20. We're going to divide by 4, so that means he's going to jump the size of his jump is going to be 4. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go again. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And another 4 will get us to 0. How many jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Check our answer again. We're going to take these last two. We're going to go 4 times 5. And four groups of five is 20. 20 is 20. They match. Nice job. Way to go, everybody. I think that's the last one. 
Um, keep practicing. If that was a little confusing, watch the video again. Keep practicing. That makes you perfect. And uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.